VR has grown massively over the last couple of years and in that time there's been some incredible developments and interesting gadgets to go along with the headsets so uh, without further ado let's take a look at some of the most interesting, innovative and generally weird ones available. Check out TechTeamGB.co.uk for more awesome news, reviews and other stuff, including more information on this product and many more. Stick around for this awesome video. So first up we've got the Prio VR full body tracking suit. Now this is still in development as with a lot of other things on this list, but at the same time it is available to pre-order as a sort of developer kit, which is the full 17 sensor kit for 1,250 US dollars, making it a rather expensive addition to your already rather expensive VR headset. Uh, so that is something to bear in mind. Also, the really awesome thing about this is that you can use uh, all 17 trackers to actually track things like your legs and hands so that you can kick and punch in game, uh, which is really cool. But at the same time, you may suffer the same uh, sort of fate as a lot of other uh, VR additions, in which case uh, it's basically the game can't support that type of input and therefore you may have to emulate controller movements and stuff like that as opposed to having it naturally just work. And it may be a bit more kind of clunky and not necessarily work perfectly straight away so we'll have to see on that one but it does look pretty awesome so number two in this list actually isn't the thing that's on the screen that's the virtuix omni which is technically quite old now if you're watching linus tech tips for a long time you'll probably recognize what that is the sort of spiritual successor to that and at least is the cybereth virtualizer now that is a slight improvement on the design in the sense that they use three pillars and a sort of spring-loaded mechanism or something similar to be able to allow you to jump and crouch as well as the walking around or running around in any direction. This is really cool and allows you to basically put this in a corner of your house, have your PC next to it, have your headset on and then run around with props, guns or controllers uh, and you know stay in the same place but you're able to track uh, all those sort of things and with the sensors that are built into the uh, arms as well as the base Play, it does allow for feet and general motion tracking which is pretty nice the only thing is that it can be upgraded with extra tech like the Prio VR uh, but at $750 it is still a pretty pricey piece of kit although technically it's cheaper than an HTC Vive so that that is something to bear in mind so number three in this list is the reactive grip from Tactical Haptics. Now these guys uh, did have a Kickstarter, it seemed to have failed or not reached its funding goal, but they still seem to be pretty active. They were at GDC 2016, so it does seem to be they're still doing stuff, which is really cool because the controller actually looks pretty nice. Now at $300 uh, for I believe two of the basic models, um, it does still seem quite expensive just for controllers, but it does look pretty awesome. It has integration with the HTC Vive controller uh, as well as many other types and is designed to work with lots of other controllers as well but basically what it is is a standard game controller with uh, effectively really cool feedback technology there's sliding bits where your palm rests so that when you for example fire a gun it actually kicks the controller back in your hand uh, or if you're picking up a weighted object in a game it makes it feel like you've actually picked up that object with weight to it which is really nice and makes the uh, whole VR and general gaming experience a lot more immersive Number four is, um, well, this one's the, the weird uh, category at the start. This is a VR sex suit. Now, my main comment on this is I'm surprised it actually took this long to get something that's actually a, a full suit type thing and immersive experience because, yeah, that's... Um, yeah. Anyway, it's developed by a Japanese game company and is available for selected titles that they produce because that's the type of game they produce and allows you to grow up some boobies while being... Um, man massaged by the Tenga male massager device. Um, it moves itself for you and I think the boobs jiggle or something like that. Um, it's a rather interesting idea and at around about $415 it's certainly cheaper than some uh, available things uh, although not as cheap as a blow-up doll. So number five is something that I just can't go without saying in a VR video and that is the ACC Vive and the Oculus Rift. Now these two are obviously very competing technologies uh, and it seems at the time of filming anyway that the HTC Vive is a little bit more popular because it seems to be a bit more fleshed out and the consumer versions do seem to be shipping. Now this is something that's quite interesting because the Vive has better full room tracking with the small lighthouse boxes uh, but seems to be heavier on the face and generally more difficult to use in a kind of uh, long term gaming session but at the same time I've heard uh, reports that the 1200 by 1080 per eye OLED screen are actually a bit nicer in the Vive than the Rift, which is interesting. 
Now, game support seems to be pretty platform agnostic, apart from a couple of titles, uh, and it seems that anything that works on a Rift generally works on a Vive, which is really cool, and I'm glad to see that they're not completely walled gardening everything uh, and allowing for the industry to actually move forward and develop, so that's pretty cool. I'm looking forward to more games in the future that actually are, are more than just what are bit effectively demos, uh, and so that's going to be really interesting to see. And obviously, I'm interested to see what the uh, Vive is actually like. I'm going to be testing it out very shortly uh, in a piece for an awesome new show that you'll check out very shortly. Um, but uh, yeah, I'll let you know what I think of it then. So that's pretty much it for this top five. Now, if you've got any comments uh, or any ideas of what would be awesome as a VR accessory that is, doesn't exist yet, or what does, uh, you know, once the video comes out, any new additions that you think uh, should be added to this list, I might do another one in the future uh, when some more things are released. Let me know in the comments down below, and I'll be sure to have a chat with you about that. And yes, I understand that I probably will get a lot of comments that are very similar to number four, so I guess I'll just have to prepare for that one. So other than that, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, feel free to hit the like button and subscribe. If you didn't, feel free to dislike, but let me know why in the comments down below so I can improve for next time. Other than that, uh, feel free to check out some of my other videos. I've got plenty. Check us out on Facebook and Twitter for updates as well. Uh, also, by the way, um, if you are planning on buying anything from, you know, VR to vegetables um, on Amazon, it'd be really awesome if you could use my link. It's genuinely helping me pay for the rent. So if you could do that, that'd be awesome. They're all in the description down below for all the countries I have available. Um, other than that, by the way, these videos are out seven days earlier on Vessel, so if you want to check that out, there's a link down below for a month-long free trial with, like, no credit card and stuff, so that's cool. Um, but other than that, yeah, I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you all in the next one.